Hey, did you know that Woody Goss wrote Dean Town? Yeah, Mom. He tell me that every time we hang out. But what you probably didn't know is that it took me a lot longer to come up with the notes and the chords than it did to come up with the melody. And yet every time I see somebody making a cover of that song, if they're playing chords at all, they're, not, they're usually not playing it right. Or they're not playing what I played, and I don't think it's intentional. So today I'm going to show you the notes and the chords to Dean Town and talk a little about why I chose the notes that I did. First chord. That's a D flat in the bass uh, is the root of the chord, but what I'm playing is a B, E, and a G flat. So that would be what, a minor seven, four? But I'll tell you right now, I'm not thinking about these chords like, uh, like that. And I'm thinking about them as, a, as melodies. So this is kind of the, the real lesson here, I guess, is to watch how these notes change over a progression. And then... So that's the next chord. And this uh, looks like a B minor, but it's over E. And you know, this is a really pretty common sound in funk music. You hear it all over. You know, I, I could take it back to Chopin. Or uh, that uh, Freddie Freeloader, or you know, and then you hear it in Curtis Mayfield. Uh, is that Pusher Man? And then so then that's classic uh, B flat seven dominant, you know. And I do a little grace note. I'm pretty sure. F-sharp minor, classic, triad. Do not be afraid of triads. So take a look at how these notes move in the progression. This note is a common note to every chord, okay? So only two notes are changing. And I wanna make the point that the top note is staying the same. Look at how they change without the top note. So the top note has no melody. The middle note has this melody. That's probably the most uh, attention-grabbing melody. And then the bottom note is... Not a very interesting melody there. So this is where where most of the action is happening, and then these are kind of like they're dulling your your attention. This is the ending part. <laughs> So, pretty similar. The top note's the same again. Keeping that common note. Change as little as possible. F sharp minor. I'm doing that little melody. And this is the top and bottom note. And then for the D flat, for the C sharp minor, not good at that. Um, remember the, the original chord was this. So I changed the A up to a B. And this stays the exact same. Again, 
change as little as possible. What do you think I changed right there? I gotta change that note. These two stay the exact same as the one before. And then B. But I change even less. I go right back to the, the second uh, variation. Variation. So this is one version. That's a second version. That's a third version. And then I'm going back to the second version again. And again, it's to change as little as possible. I'm thinking about this the whole time, I swear. Because what it does is then when something does change, you notice it. 